This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and we love making this show available to you free of charge. If you'd like to help us keep it that way, make a contribution to our Karma Jar or become a show sponsor. To learn more, visit our website. Today I've baked a coconut cream pie. I got an email from Eric recently and he was telling me he was celebrating his birthday this month and he asked if I would make a coconut cream pie podcast for him. Well here it is. It's this great pie with a delicious cookie crust and then a really coconut filled filling and then wonderful whipped cream on top. We're going to start by first making the crust for our coconut cream pie. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm going to be making a cookie crumb crust and I want to use a vanilla cookie. So you have a couple of choices. One is just a vanilla biscuit cookie like these Nilla vanilla wafers. I've used these um, on other shows. The other thing that I've come across is a sandwich cookie. It's a vanilla cookie with a vanilla cream center. It's just just like our chocolate cookie Oreos that I use in other episodes, but this is a vanilla one. But you can use any kind of vanilla cookie that you can get your hands on. I'm going to be using my food processor to uh, make the cookie crumbs, but you could also put them in a zip bag and then pound them with a rolling pin. We've done that before. And you'll want to crush enough cookies to make two and a half cups and they should be nice and fine like this. We'll place these in a medium bowl. And do take the time to go through and make sure if you see any large pieces that didn't get ground up that you take your fingers and kind of run them through so they get nice and broken up. Now to the crumbs, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flaked coconut, and this is a sweetened flaked coconut. And I'm going to toss this together making sure that that coconut kind of gets distributed through the cookie crumbs. And add two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna put that right in my dish. And with my spoon, I'm gonna to toss that together until the crumbs are all moistened and it looks like wet sand. Now it's time to get out a pie dish. This is a nine inch pie dish. And I'll take the crumbs and put it right in the center. And then I'm going to take my fingers and press this out. First, just working with the bottom of the crust. And once I get a nice level bottom, I'll take a little measuring cup and I'll press it out so that it starts to go up the sides. And if you find you have a few too many crumbs on one area, you can just pick them up and put them on another one. This crust is pretty forgiving to work with. Now do make sure that you really press your thumb into the side um, where the bottom of the pan meets the side. We want that to be pretty much at a right angle because that's where all that pudding is going to go. And so we want to make sure that that's not sloped in. So really push that out. And because this isn't a pastry crust, we don't need the edges to go up and over uh, the side. We just need it to go just straight up the side. And then I like to sort of smooth out those top edges just a little bit. And that looks about right. Now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes so that that butter starts to solidify. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. This is going to bake for about 10 minutes. Now while the pie crust is baking we can make our coconut cream filling. Now if you've seen my episode on chocolate cream pie you'll know that when I make cream pies if at all possible I like to use a pudding mix because I find that it really helps it set up really nicely. This is a vanilla cook and serve pudding mix and I'm going to be making this in the microwave, so make sure you have a microwave safe bowl. And I'm going to place the pudding mix in there. 
And normally when you're making a pudding, you want to use all milk, but I am gonna add something a little different because this is coconut cream. I have a 15 ounce can of Coco Lopez, which is a coconut cream. And what it is, is it's coconut that's been cooked down with some sugar. It's really thick but it has great coconut flavor. This is a 15 ounce can of cream of coconut. And then I am going to add some milk, but I suggest you use whole milk. And I'm gonna measure out one cup and add that. I've got a half a cup of some flaked sweetened coconut and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then with my whisk, I'm gonna carefully mix all of this together. You know, one of the things that I found with some coconut cream pies through the years is they just don't have enough of a coconut flavor. And when you add this cream of coconut, you get this really great, real coconut flavor that's fantastic. Now I'm going to put this in the microwave for a total of eight minutes, but every two minutes, I do want to get my whisk and stir it to make sure that it's cooking nice and evenly. Now the cookie crust just came out of the oven and if you find that it has slid down just a little bit, take just a little metal uh, measuring cup and you can kind of press it back up the sides. It kind of depends how much butter is in the vanilla cookies you're using and sometimes it slips a little bit. But because this is all the baking that this crust is gonna get, we can totally do this and just press it up. Now the coconut filling has come out of the microwave and you can see how nice and thick that is, which is what we want. And I'm just gonna take and pour that right into the shell. And you can see it fills that shell perfectly. And I'm just gonna take my spatula and kind of press that down. And then I'm gonna let this sit here for about a half an hour because the crust is hot, the filling is hot, and I need to bring it down to a lukewarm temperature. I'm also gonna take a piece of parchment and I'm gonna place that right on top and I'm gonna press it down on top of that filling. Now after 30 minutes, this is down to lukewarm. I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator for two to three hours because this filling needs to get totally cold before we can put the cream topping on. Now I like to add a garnish to the top of this pie and I like to toast some coconut. So I wanted to show you how we do that. I just get a small pan and I don't put anything in it, no oil or butter or anything. And then I have three quarters of a cup of my flavor coconut and I have this on a medium heat it's important that you keep the coconut moving because of the sugar content in it it will start to burn very quickly you can see it's starting to get some light brown color and you can see it starts to turn a little bit darker fairly quickly and once it gets to about this color I like to take it off the heat and put it just in a little bowl and I'll let it cool there until it's time to put it on the pie. Now it's time to make the cream topping for our pie. Again, I'm gonna use my standing mixer, but you could use a hand mixer. And I have one and a half cups of heavy cream, three tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we want the cream to be really thick for this topping, so I have a way that I do it. I start the mixer on a low to medium speed for about one or two minutes, and then I bump it up to a higher speed until I get the volume I want. Now the reason I do it this way is because I find it helps stabilizes the whipped cream a little bit more. The air bubbles have a chance to slowly expand and give the volume I want and then it's gonna get really, really thick like this. And that's what we want because we want this to really stay on top of the pie. We don't want it to slide around. Now the pie has chilled down and I'm gonna take and pull my parchment off the top of it. And the reason we have that is, as you can see, we don't have a skin on top of the coconut filling, which we don't want. And now we'll take the whipped cream I'm just gonna pile all of it on in the center of the pie. And then with my offset spatula, I'm just gonna press that out to the edges of the crust. 
Now you can see I'm not going over the crust. I'm just going up to the edge of it. That way it will cut really nicely. Now many times pies like these kind of have a mound of cream in the center. So you can certainly move it along like that. And then we have our toasted coconut and I'm just going to put that all over the top. Well, isn't this gorgeous and happy birthday, Eric. I hope you have a great day. Now, if you'd like to try this coconut cream pie at home, just go to our website and go to the Sweet World Show Notes and I'll have the recipe there for you. If you do make it, don't forget to send me a photo or a video clip and that way I can send you the slice of pie badge. We hope you'll join us on Facebook and as always, if you have any questions or ideas for me, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.